amazing. What? So I wanted it to happen. I did. I wanted it to be with you, and it was. All I want is to make you happy. You do. Are you happy? Yes. Does that scare you? What scares me is that something that's good for us can make things tougher for you than mine. have any dinner, did we? No. That was not what was on my mind. <laughs> well, the coffee shop was closed, but there must be some place that's open all night. I'll go get us something. No, don't go. I don't want you away from me even for a little while. Me neither. Wait a minute. There's some vending machines in the lobby. <laughs> Can you handle... Soda and peanut butter crackers? Mm, sounds like a banquet. I'll be right back. If you're that hungry, there's a diner half a mile down the road. Uh, no thanks. This is be fine. How's it going? Ah, that average. 42 and 43 is still open, and there's a couple of wake-up calls down. Okay, up. We'll see you in the morning. Sure. Arborside. Hello. Um, look, I'm having kind of a family emergency, and I'm trying to locate someone. Um, Michael Cates who's somewhere in the vicinity of Port Charles. Uh, can you tell me if he's registered at your hotel? I just came on duty, but I can check the register for you. It would be a late arrival, Michael Case. Or maybe he's under the name Stone Case. He goes by both sometimes. Hell, we got six guys staying here alone, and four of them came in late, but there's no Case or anything. Looks like it. Right. Well, thanks for your help. Sorry, didn't be more help. Okay, good night. <laughs> for what you spent in machines. Yeah, oh, but we'd have had to have gotten dressed. I wanted to be sure I got something that you like. Oh, you got some of my favorites. Corn chips and crumbs and food cheap You know what I like about these things? You get them all over your fingers and then you have to lick it all off. And we have soda. Mm. I have cola. I have orange. I have grape. Mm. Grape. That way I'll be purple and orange. Glasses. Bathroom. No, 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 no. This is a picnic. Mm. What's that for? A plate. I <laughs> think you want crumbs in the bed. You are so silly. You know I think I'm some kind of hot house flower, don't you? I think you're pretty hot. But you were brought up a little bit more refined than I was. Mm. Oh my, yes. I'm nothing if not genteel and polished. My mother was British, you know. Mm. So you're going to fit right in at Yale. Smart. You know, I always heard that you wanted to 
a cigarette after sex, not cheese squiggles. <laughs> well, I guess you had a lot of ideas of how it would be, huh? I guess. I mean, I didn't exactly think about it my whole life. Not much of it, anyway. I mean, there are those love songs and poems and movies. But I was afraid of... What do you mean? That I and that it, it wouldn't be everything that you wanted and that it wouldn't be everything that you expected. I have never been more happier or more sure. I admit, I mean, I was a little scared, too. See, I didn't want you to be. No, not of you. I was just afraid of being a collective, being stupid. That never happened. I know I wasn't very... Um, I mean, I know I need to be able to relax more and not be so anxious. But that'll happen, right? Like I'm the worst of experience? Way more experience than I am. Robin. How can I say this? Whatever has happened in the past, I have never felt anything like I feel for you. And I don't mean to keep bringing up Mac, but I just hope that he can understand how much I never want to hurt you and that how special you are to me. be sooner or later and I sure don't want to procrastinate. Maybe it'll shock him to reality. <laughs> 